as is not even necessary to mention, but I'm only mentioning it because we are in unnecessary circumstances of living conditions. So only because it's necessary is it necessary. Only because it's un... I don't even know. <laughs> it's necessary despite the unnecessary conditions. There we go. Okay, so my purpose. Who I am, you will hear from me very soon. You will... You will know within the Phoenix, Hybrid Phoenix, and all my other usernames on global television. Um, I really can't say irony is going to play a part in this because uh, this is more ultimateism, and this is acknowledgement and recognition. I lived a human life. I did. I struggled as you did. That is why I say we. When I say we, there's a sense of love. There's a sense of brother, and and uh, you know, there's a there is a unique dignity behind it, because for the most part, if you really realized how bad these conditions are, you would wonder. You would really question: Could you have survived if you did not? But let's just say I don't like what ifs, but let's just say if you didn't have a course. Yeah, I have seen the polarity of that. And it's difficult. It's, it's very difficult to say. And that was the issue with uh, uh, the effects of what chaos did in this uh, universe. That's what created so many issues and so many uh, weird obscurities and polarity effects. I mean, think about it. You, go, you, could, you, could, you are enlightened. I take it who is listening to this right now is generally enlightened. But... Can you not say that despite your enlightenment, that you have seen things that has really shifted you to an almost negative spectrum? It's recognition of realizing what is and what isn't. Um, for some, for for most beings, realizing what isn't, what's unnatural, they kind of experience that very unnaturality itself. That's essentially interacting with the essence itself, even if it's unnatural. I would say it's dangerous, but um, immortalism exists. And once you have defined immortalism, nothing can destroy you. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. <sighs> um, you're going to realize my origins. You're going to realize that I lived a human life despite all my radical intense complications. I understand that everyone has their unique complications. Um, but for the sake of what's complicated, I am going to I'm, I assume I might I assume I'm going to be the first that ET technology allows you to see all your past lives, um, which I don't know how that's going to work with me because I don't have any generally past lives in this universe though the nebula that I'm connected to is in this universe, but that's reflection. There are nebulas in this universe that are reflecting other universes that could be of a thousandth degree difference. It doesn't matter. Reflection is eternal. Eternalism. My life as a human will be viewable. I, I feel the need of, of um, someone really seeing what a real complicated experience is like to a very uh, devastating degree. Therefore, my life itself will be on, uh, I don't know how many DVDs or maybe it will just be one with ET tech and the compression on a, on a compact disc. Who knows? But that will be available. Now, it's a person's life. Once you realize what I have posted on YouTube, is not only true, but then see me on TV, hear my username mentioned, you can't help but to wonder, okay, he's from the hybrid existence. He is from the ultimate paradigm itself. Or she is, rather. You will, you will generally find out. Um, you can't help but to wonder, what do I mean by complicated life? When... I do, I, I, uh, 
I understand there might be some skepticism. However, if you watch the news, please watch the news. Go to Fox News. Watch. It will take only about 20 minutes to start seeing the pieces, putting themselves together at ease. You can literally sit here right now. Literally sit there right now and just and just wait. Just wait for the change. Because it's okay. Unnaturalities, unnatural occurrences are not supposed to be. Now, if you feel like you can do something, do something. But if you feel like you should just wait, although my suggestion might have influenced you, but the core self recognizes, define what you think you should do right now. This is my final unscripted recording. This is the final unscripted recording. Despite my unpopularity on YouTube, I don't get any hits compared to YouTube. It does not matter. The vault of information was provided. The expressions and messages were conveyed. They were available to the entire world. YouTube is global. That was one of my missions, to get the information out there. That is why from the 10th dimension to the 15th dimension, uh, the videos are very basic. I, I simply have to get the information out there ASAP. And for the clarification of what is the 5th dimension to the, fifth, uh, to the 15th dimension. Usually we do not have to express what the dimensions are before the 12th. And the 12th dimension is the baseline, literally the foundations, the basics, the, I would say essentials, be, mostly because other universes are an expression of perfection. They're automatically transforming in real time. Seconds are literally eons. Average rate of dimensions in all universes known, 93 is the average rate. The lowest number ever recorded, which is in this dimension, was 32, now 33. However, we are nearing the 40th thousandth alignment that Estrella most know her as Gaia is about to make. Incidentally, this is partially one of them. But th that is because this is, this is an announcement to let you all know that you're about to hear me globally. And then you're going to hear my story. You're going to hear my origins. And then you're going to hear on how humanity, why, why is humanity such a, uh, there, there is a blessing in that word. Why is there? There's a lot of whys. It's not just, it is not just me. But there is no one else like me in this universe. I am what is called a crossover, one existence to another, and then walked in. So essentially, when you do discover who I am, you will realize yourself I suppose, yes, in a greater spectrum. The value of knowing another being's experiences and understandings is the value of your own experiences and understandings. If you have value in your experience and understandings, you have value in uh, others' experiences and understandings. There is no question in this. Why should there be? Share, be interactive, coexist. So, Ah, it's 8 o'clock p.m. right now, and literally from now, the whole conditions right now are, the, yeah, they're melting, but at this point, it's coming down to a point where you literally might see, I don't know, a, de a dematerialization of the physical objects around you. I'm not sure. Um, I think that's being saved for a more um, efficient matter, though. I do think that once everyone realizes how basically bogus everything they've been interacting with primarily uh, in the uh, unnatural circumstances that people will literally have the joy of just tearing down structures because it can all be terraformed and there is no point in using uh, resources to